Hi guys, this is Maria. And I'm Joyce. And in this video, we're going to talk about our go-to products that we use all the time, almost every single day. So if you're interested in this, then stay tuned yeah. and check it out. The first thing we're going to talk about is the Skin79 BB Cream. Um, this is amazing. We actually both use it. It's like really, really good. Yeah, so it's um, really like thin and just goes on so nicely. It has SPF 25, good for the fair skin, especially when you're always in the sunlight. Um, it has whitening and also wrinkle improvement, so you always want to look into improving those wrinkles before they come out, prepping them. And also, if you're the type of girl that doesn't like using foundation because you think it's too heavy, and you don't like all that stuff on your skin all the time, this is a really good product because it's part foundation and part um, sunscreen. sunscreen. So it's less harsh and it's less heavy. This is the reason why I like using it so much. And it also covers up a lot as well mm -hmm. at the same time. And the next thing that we both use is this um, Benefit Concealer called Boing. And we actually both in the <coughs> same shade. Yeah, we both use the same shade because I like to use yeah. it as kind of like a highlighter to highlight, you know, the bridge of my nose and my cheeks and also my cupid's bow. And one thing I like about it, it's a really easy application because all you need to do is, you know, open it, you know, rub it and like put it wherever you need. And it stays on forever. It doesn't crease. It doesn't mm -hmm. smudge. And it's also, I don't think it's that expensive, right? I think it's around like a 20 range, which is not bad at all. But for me, I guess my skin's a bit more oilier, so it actually does crease a bit for me. So my alternative go-to product is actually this one. This is called the Perspective, which is also concealer-based. It is liquid, so on um, some mornings when I have like wrinkles under my eye or like really bad days, this one actually covers up a lot more better for me. But honestly, this one works just as great. Yeah, and this is like a really, really powerful concealer. It's inexpensive as well, and actually it lasts for a really long time. I think I've been using mm -hmm. this for a good two, three months. On and off though, but mine's still, mine's not even flattened yet. Mine's flattened, but I use it every day for the past, like, I don't know, half a year, and it still works. Yeah, mine, I think it's only been like two, three months. Or even good longer, product. but... Good product. Yes. Definitely go and check it out. Yeah, if you haven't tried this one yet. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is eyeshadow. And um, the one I use a lot recently is the Maybelline um, Eye Expert Wear Eyeshadow. And it's in the color Emerald Smokes. And it's like a quad eyeshadow. And every, all the colors go well together. And basically, I use this one every single day. It's a little bit glittery and it gives your eye, it makes your eyes pop basically and um, it's very natural. And the second one I use in this quad shadow which fell out, it's this kind of color. It's like an ash brown slash greenish kind of color and it looks a bit dark but when you actually put it on it actually blends really well with this like beige color to give your eyes more depth and um, just makes your eyes look bigger and it makes it pop. And the other two colors, I use it. I don't really use it because it's a bit too extreme for everyday wear. And, and I'm actually a really lazy person, so I don't really use eyeshadow on a day to day basis. But when I do go out, yes, I do. Uh, but we're just going to keep this video short. So, okay, the next product that, uh, we're going to talk about eyeliner. And I've been using this since I've started wearing makeup. This is actually their new formula. And it says to last like 16 hours, but I can literally go to sleep, wake back up, and it's still fine. It doesn't really um, smudge as much as the old one, but it does give you the little application to smudge. So, which is pretty nice. It gives you like kind of like a, you're putting an eyeshadow effect. Um, I like to do the whole like cat eye thing. So, I don't use pencil. I use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. And it basically, <clears throat> it doesn't smudge. It glides on really well and I, I can just say that it's just as good as a Bobbi Brown one. It's just cheaper and people on a budget use this instead. And in addition to that, I use the white pencil liner on my waterline to make my eyes look bigger because I have small-ish eyes. Yeah. And my eyes aren't small at all. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, and then um, the next one you're going to talk about is actually mascara. This is so bad because it feels like we're actually like 
talking a lot about them, but Maybelline. You can never go wrong with Maybelline. We're not paying to advertise them or anything, but they're just so good. And when you're on Love a budget, it. it's like actually really, really good. Okay, so I use the Colossus Volume Express. It's waterproof. And this is how the brush looks like. It's really nothing special, actually. It works really well because my lashes are really thin, so they kind of tend to droop down. And these ones, um, it sticks to a point where it actually keeps it up, so which is really good. <clears throat> I also use Maybelline. <laughs> um, it's but it's a different line. It's the Falsy. It's the newer line. And um, one thing different about this is the brush. It kind of curves like this. So I just use that side first and then after on my second coat I use the one that goes up to lift my lashes and keep them curled and it actually stays curled and I'm really big on mascara and on my lashes so I put a third coat I know I'm crazy but I use the Lancome Hypnose and this is a sample size but yeah it's actually really 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 good it keeps your lashes volumized and it keeps it up and it's a really good investment even though it's kind of pricey. It's pricey, but the things I have a full one, I, I started been using it for so long. It actually never runs out on me or dries out, which is a good thing. And next and time, we're going to move on to um, blush and bronzer. Bronzes. Since it's, it's the summer, I like to use blush and bronzer to give a very warm tone to my face. Um, and the bronzer I've been using, this has been in my makeup collection for like a year. It's by Bare Minerals and it's called Warmth and it blends really well because it's a powder form and um, it gives a really nice finish and you only need to use like a tiny bit because if you use too much you'll just have like brown spots in your face and that's not cool. Um, and for blush I use the MAC powder blush and it's in the color Sun Basque. I don't know if I'm like pronouncing it correctly, but um, <clears throat> it kind of has a little shimmer to it, and it's a bit dark. So if you have really pale skin like her, maybe this is not the color for you. It's like a reddish um, brown, brown pink a darker tone. for a darker tone skin. Yeah. It kind of looks like a bronzer, but it's actually a blush. <laughs> and, and we're gonna move on to the lips. Lips. Okay. So my go-to product for like the whole year is actually Burt's Bee. This is the actual just. The original Burt's. Kid. Yep. Um, but since it's actually in the summer, I preferred using this one. It's actually Shiseido and has SPF 10, which is good because I'm always in the sun. And that's actually really soothing. It goes on kind of like a lipstick, which is kind of clear. And then, um, and then, okay, for lipstick, my go to lipstick is part of the Luster line. It's called Just by MAC. It's kind of a reddish tone. But on my lips actually goes on more pinky. So like I'm actually wearing it right now. It goes on more pinky. And then on top of that, I put a lip gloss, which is also by MAC. And we're like pretty big MAC fans. Oh, there he is. And this one's actually part of the Dazzle Class Cream Collection. And this is called Soft Dazzle. <clears throat> and for me, I love Burt's Bees, but recently my lips have been really chapped and really dry. So I wanted like a more glossy kind of lip balm for more moisture so I chose the body shop lip balm it's called black velvet apricot lip balm and sumptuous apricot flavor Ooh, okay so <clears throat> this is how it looks like oh there we go and you can already tell it's like really glossy and like after a couple of not even a couple of weeks like a week and a half and my lips have already been Super moisturized, not chapped. I can finally use lipstick again and it won't look weird on me. <clears throat> and the lipstick that I've been using is called, is also by MAC. And it's called Sea Sheer from the Luster line. And it's also, it's a darker color because I have darker lips. My natural lip color is kind of dark. So this is like a more um, reddish brown. So if you have really light skin, this might be very, very exotic for you. And the good thing about the Luster line is actually a bit moisturizing to it, but it's not super sticky. I remember it used to be really sticky, but now, I don't know, I guess I got accustomed to it. It's not sticky at all, which is really good. Yeah. And is that it? No, nope, oh, yeah, one more. wait, we have one more, sorry. <laughs> um, especially for the summertime when your skin gets very oily, especially after you sweat because of the heat. Um, 
I don't like using blotting sheets. I find them annoying and they dry out my skin a lot. So I like to use the Blot Powder by MAC. And it actually looks like a regular foundation compact, but it's actually translucent. I can use like a chocolate brown color and it actually looks, it will actually work for me because it's actually see-through. And I have it in medium dark. So always try to go for these ones or if your skin's more oilier, I guess blotting sheets are a good um, like a use, but don't put extra foundation on because you're just going to be caking on makeup and it's going to feel so heavy. You're going to feel so uncomfortable on the end of the day. And so, it's not good for your skin. Yeah, not good for your skin at, at all. all. Yeah. <clears throat> well, that concludes all our makeup stuff. And um, thank you for you guys for watching our video. And if you guys enjoy what you see, please click the subscribe button on Give top. us some love. Yeah, on top. We're going to post more videos, not just about makeup. We're going to post about food and fashion. Uh, later on so please check it out if you're interested in those things and we actually just started our food blog so please if you live in Toronto or you want to visit Toronto um, the link is actually below it's lcco.tumblr.com we just got started so there's only a few up but by all means please read them see if you like them give us any comments feedbacks or anything and yes, yes. bye bye